Hi there, this is Andrew speaking. Uh, today I'm going to introduce uh, the update on the two DIY kits that I'm producing and available on Tindy. So uh, both of them are designed for Eero Rack users and can be very handy utility devices. So the first one is a simple board that comes pre-assembled and this is a power board. So what, the, what it does, it converts the Eero Rack power into the USB power. So with that you can power any uh, well USB attached device if you want to charge your smartphone from your rear rack so that would be the way to do it. Uh, the trick about this board that it allows you to use any of available power rails. So some rear rack systems they have only pl plus and minus 12 volts. Others can have uh, plus 5 volts as well. So what, what you can do with this jumper, you can select which power rail it will use. So if it uses just a five volts, in that case, it goes passed through with the capacitors and the five volt from your ear rack goes to the uh, USB. If you select it and set it to a plus 12 volt, in that case, it uses this onboard um, um, well, DC-DC converter that allows you to, to have very clean five volt output from the plus 12. Plus 12. And so basically you have an option and you can select which one you can use. So when I designed this, I had some idea in mind how I can use it. And so that goes to the second pro product. Again, it comes as a, as a kit, uh, not assembled. And I'm using the same board in this product. So what it is, I call it compute. So uh, it's a slim Eero rack module that can mount the uh, compute stick. In that case, I'm using Intel Compute Stick. You can use Amazon Stick. You can use uh, any of available off-the-shelf Android uh, Compute Sticks. What that allows you to do, it allows you to mount this Compute Stick, so it has HDMI output, uh, to this um, HDMI faceplate adapter, so with that you can have just a clean HDMI port output. Some of these compute sticks will not start without monitor connected, so for some you may decide to use dummy uh, HDMI plug, which are also widely available. And there is also uh, the spot here for the uh, USB power extender. Basically, all of them have some sort of USB um, well, port here, and it's much easier just to route it to the front panel. And so here is the uh, same power board. In that case, without jumpers, I'm using just a switch attached to this, just you see the directly solder it to the jumper positions. And so you can select with a switch uh, which power rail it will use again, 12 volts or five volts, dep depends on your Eero rack capability. So the same power output here very easy. Uh, it can be very handy for many reasons you decide to use mini computer inside your Eero rack. Um, uh, and as I said, that is just a small utility uh, device that for sure can be handy for many people. If all of that, well, thanks. See you next time and with more modules. Goodbye.